everyone this is Ross and today we did a little bit of a citrus tree unboxing so we just got this order in from Four Winds Nursery out in California we got these uh, four inch by nine inch sleeves down in here they're about one gallon size pots pretty well rooted I've ordered from Four Winds before they have some nice quality product and uh, this is really though the biggest best nursery you can get them from um, because there's another grower in Florida that is struggling with the greening called Just Fruits and Exotics. So, you know, they're pretty much prohibited by law and they can't send out a lot of citrus trees to people. But um, at least Four Winds is certainly willing and able to send these trees. I'm really excited. We ended up getting a kumquat here called Fukushu. We got the Australian finger lime, which is a really interesting piece of citrus. Essentially, you break this open and uh, you can squeeze it a little bit, out comes all these little vesicles, all these little small balls of flavor that pop in your mouth that give you a nice little lime taste, but also it's really good. And um, it's been a big hit with a lot of people over the last few years, it's become very popular. I'm very excited to have it. You can see what's interesting is that there's a lot of small leaves on this tree. And I would expect because it has smaller leaves smaller fruit same thing with the kumquat same thing with this lime quat here but this is the eustace lime quat that four wind cells you can see look it's already covered in flowers that i would expect these fruits to do much better here in my climate because they're smaller they're maybe even able to uh fruit at multiple times of the year you know put out better quantity of fruit Rather than having a giant grapefruit on one of these trees hanging from a small potted plant, it's just not gonna work for me here in my climate. It's gonna take a long time for something like a navel orange um, to ripen and even sweeten up. So we got things that don't need to sweeten up, things that can really better handle our, uh, our cooler climate, our shorter season climate. What you could do with these though, is actually put them in pots and then keep them in the greenhouse all winter if you live in a colder place. Um, but that's not what I use the greenhouse for, at least at this current time. It's mainly for the fig trees here, giving them a nice little early head start. But that's what I could do, and I could keep watering them in there all winter, keep the temperatures high, fertilize them well, and I could certainly get some nice piece of uh, citrus off of those trees that you know would get that sweetness. But what I'm doing here is actually keeping them either underneath the sunroom, which you could, which is a nice little root cellar. You could keep them in the basement. Or you could put them in like a western or southern window that's quite warm and uh, gets a lot of sun and you can keep them there at higher temperatures and continue that growth throughout the winter time um, and even keep the fruits on there throughout the winter time what you know this tree here is just came out of the house uh, we just adjusted it you know today is early may so it's still very young in my season and uh, getting these guys out here after the frost is really recommended um, you know, but you can see this tree is actually not doing a whole lot. It hasn't flowered. I've had it for three years. It's been in this pot. It's pretty well rooted in this 10 gallon size pot. Um, you know, it is showing some signs of nutrient deficiencies. It had some pretty nasty um, spider mites inside the house. It was a bit dry in there. You know, I wasn't feeding it very much. We did water it. It was kept healthy for the most part kept alive all winter time that's a bit of a struggle for those of you who are new at this but we did end up cutting this back quite a bit because it had these really long lanky shoots and that's just not good you know with this thing is going to flower which i doubt it i don't know there may be something wrong with this maybe it's not even grafted maybe the uh, rootstock took over i'm not even 100 percent sure but if this thing doesn't flower very soon, or if it did flower pretty soon, those long, lanky limbs, because it put out about two or three growth spurts in the house, it was like double or even triple the size it is right now. And I just didn't like that. I wanted the branching to form here rather than way up here, because again, it's just gonna become a really lanky tree that's not gonna be able to support those fruit. Um, it's just something you gotta watch out for these citrus trees. So giving them a nice little haircut is not a horrible idea. I don't need to certainly give these guys a nice little haircut, but what I'm thinking is that I could take some scion off of this and then graft it onto this rootstock, which has done absolutely nothing for me. And that would then solve this issue and I could have myself a really strong and healthy plant 
with varieties that actually would fruit for me and actually would put out high quality fruit. This is a mandarin and who knows if this is even gonna produce pretty decently with the conditions I'm giving it. So that's what we're gonna kind of do is we just, you know, unbox these, we are gonna take off this plastic, uh, we're gonna up pot them, we're gonna feed them well, we're gonna adjust them to the conditions here. And these guys will be real happy. And then what I may end up doing is actually, like I said, grafting onto that rootstock and that's it. So I wanna really uh, follow along with you guys and keep you guys updates to these citrus. They're really not difficult to grow. They can be a bit challenging because they're, they're more challenging than something in my climate that's deciduous, right? At least the figs, the pomegranates, the jujubes, the che, you know, all this stuff can drop its leaves and then I can put it somewhere that maybe uh, it's not too cold there, you know? Whereas the citrus keeps their leaves all winter and definitely, you know, struggles with really cold temperatures. So you don't want to put these guys anything in less than like 25 degrees you're kind of asking for it. Um, what you do need to care for and really worry about is that get yourself like a 10 gallon size pot. I think that's a great size for these trees. And if they're really well rooted like they are from four winds in these one gallon size pots, you can put them directly in a 10 gallon. It's just you have to really be careful to not overwater them and have a soil that's really well draining. You know, you can see the soil here is definitely very damp, but this is so well draining a uh, very nutritious soil that you won't have an issue. That's the big problem with these young citrus trees is they're very prone to root rot. They're very finicky, you know, especially depending on the variety. Um, you want to give these guys every chance they can to survive and the soil is the key. Very well draining soil. Let them dry out a little bit. Don't water them so much. They really like to be more on the drier side. You know, these things can grow in like Arizona in the desert. I mean, these things are very drought tolerant plants. So give yourself the best um, start that you can and then also feed them well. That's really the big keys here is the appropriate moisture level and the amount of food. Just like the fig, we have to be feeding these things all growing season. And the, the thing about the citrus is that you wanna feed them actually in the winter time too. So it's really difficult and you may even get a little bit lazy like I have because this tree had the spider mites. It had, you know, I didn't really feed it all that well. We just kind of kept it alive in the window. And really these guys should be getting more care throughout the winter time. So anyway, those are my big tips. That's the like a little bit of an unboxing even though we didn't take it out of the box. <laughs> but you can see we actually have uh, this portion of the box here which was holding all these different fruit trees in this little section. I really like this. This is a cool idea. And then they were able to actually send three plants in one box, which is pretty cool. I wonder how much this cost them, but they really got this down to a science. I really like four wins personally, and uh, I'm excited to try these varieties. You know, like I said, smaller fruits can maybe even fruit multiple times a year. They're not going to need to get sweet. You know, these are really probably my best shot at getting some pretty decent citrus here in the northeast of the United States, Philadelphia area, zone 7A. If you guys wanna see more about citrus, please follow and subscribe, you know, like the video. We're gonna keep you guys updated, like I said. Also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We love to post different things on there. Actually, sort of about this kind of stuff, you know. Oh, just got some citrus trees in the mail. You know, we'll take a nice photo, put it up on there, check out the blog all about figs, all about growing all kinds of different things in a more longer form content. We'll catch you guys pretty soon, all right? See you for tomorrow's video. Take care, everyone.